the title of this message is on earth as in heaven when we look at the uh, about prayer remember prayer is us co-working with god so prayer is not something where we just say god you know i'm giving you something and then you just do do, do something with what i'm saying no prayer is our co-working with god and uh, uh, whatever we pray we should also pursue in other ways here on earth you you and i should be praying thy kingdom come we want your kingdom to be ushered in here on earth so when he says pray your kingdom come we're saying god we want your rule your dominion the expression of who you are to be released here on earth in scripture we understand the kingdom of god at least for us as New Testament believers, we understand the kingdom of God in two aspects. One, there is what we would refer to as the millennial kingdom. But there is another aspect of the kingdom which you and I are engaged in already. It is the kingdom of God which John the Baptist introduced as he announced the coming of Jesus. John the Baptist, his message was, repent for the kingdom of heaven is here. I mean, the Lord Jesus came he began to announce the same thing. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God is at hand or it's near, it's accessible. It has come into our realm. And one of the things that we see in the teachings of Jesus is this. He teaches us how we can enter into the kingdom and how we can have the kingdom invade our world. As people who have been born again, who have received life from God, um, received God's life in us. We have entered into the kingdom of God. Uh, we, are, we have been translated from the powers of darkness and been translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. But at the same time, he says, now we are, who are part of the kingdom, we, as the Bible calls us, the children of the sons of the kingdom, we now are engaged with the king to cause his kingdom to come into of a realm everywhere jesus went preaching the gospel of the kingdom and teaching about the kingdom he also demonstrated what happens when the kingdom of god invades our realm as jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom people were healed demons were cast out demon demonic works were destroyed miracles began to take place because that is the coming of the kingdom 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20 says, For the kingdom of God is not just in word, but in power. So when the kingdom of God comes, there is the expression of the power of God, of the almightiness of God through healing, through deliverance, through overthrowing every evil work of the enemy. And that's what you and I are praying. God, your kingdom come i want your kingdom to come you see when jesus spoke about the church that he was establishing in matthew 16 verses 16 through 18 he's saying look I'm, i will build my church and the church that i build will be so powerful the gates of hell will not be able to restrain it the forces of darkness will not be able to stop it because to the church i'm giving them the keys of the kingdom i'm giving them the authority of god's kingdom and they on earth they on earth will bring what's in heaven they will release it on earth they will bind and lose on earth so that what god allows and disallows will will be enforced here on earth and that is the authority that's given to you and me as the church and the bible tells us in hebrews chapter 10 verses 5 and 6 when when, when jesus came into this world it is said about him lo i come to do thy will O God. So if we want to know the will of God, look at the person of Jesus Christ because he is the will of God in, ex in action. He is the will of God in demonstration. And there can be no doubt about what the will of God is when we look at the person of Jesus Christ. So what do we see about G Jesus in the four Gospels? In the four Gospels, we see Jesus going about healing the sick. We see Jesus delivering people. We see Jesus working miracles. And not once did he turn any person away who came to him in faith. Every person who came to Jesus in faith, he ministered to. He, they received their healing. And so when we pray, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We are saying, God, whatever you've said in your word, because your word is your will, I want it to be established here on earth.